Hey guys, what's going on? Just finished a lesson with a first time student, never surfed before. Uh, got him on a soft top just to kind of get him in some whitewash and, and show him how to pop up and basically just gave him an overall foundation of what he needs to know prior to going out and, and so on. So this is this is how it went. Basically, the, the, first, the first rule of thumb that I always tell a first time student is you need to make sure you're not slipping on the board. So you need to wax the board, okay? It, so many times I, I see people just grab a board and just go out. Like the worst thing that could ever happen is you slip because if you slip, you can't surf. It doesn't matter what your skill level is, right? Um, so always get some wax on your board, even if it's a soft top, it doesn't matter. Just get a little layer of wax. It stays fresh for the hour that you're out. It always gets slick after a certain amount of time in the water. So the next session, add a little wax, but just make sure that you're not slipping because if you slip, you can't surf. The second thing is a problem I see all the time. I see people suit up, grab their board, and then just go out without any idea or knowledge of how big the waves are what the conditions are like okay so you need to assess the size of the wave so if it's you know you go down there you spend five to ten minutes you could you could be in your suit ideally look at it before you make that decision but if you want to you just sit on the beach look at it and you know come up with a size like how big is it you know and it doesn't have to be like you know, it's three feet or it's five feet or six feet or whatever it can just be, you know, it's knee high, it's waist high, it's shoulder high, it's head high, it's overhead. Keep it simple and just just have a good idea of, of, of what the size is. The second thing with that is how often are the big ones coming in? So a set wave, obviously, waves come in sets, right? And bigger ones come less frequently. So how often are the big ones coming in? And this is very important because if the waves are a little big for you, let's say the, the set waves are overhead and you're new to surfing, that might be a little too big, but if they only come in every 10 to 15 minutes, you'll be okay. You just gotta figure out the timing and then you know paddle out when there's no waves and avoid the big ones. The third thing that's super important here is it, when you do go out, if you, do, you you have the size, you wax your board, you have the, you, the size of the waves dialed, you, you, you know what you're about to get into, right? Then you gotta look at the crowd. What's the crowd like? Is it is it really crowded? Is it really empty? If there's nobody out, you maybe there's a reason. You might wanna look at it a little more. Um, but, if, but if it's crowded, let's say, you're gonna go out, you don't wanna just paddle out into a crowd, right? Because you're just trying to learn. You don't wanna be getting in people's way and you also don't wanna get ran over by somebody and, which goes into the second part of this is, if it is crowded, what's the crowd like? Is it more beginners? Is it is it more advanced, more intermediate? You know, like this is something to kind of look at and, and get an idea because if it's more beginners, the issue that, you're, that you can run into is that someone could run into you. So, when you're paddling out or if you're on the inside and you're trying to catch white washes and do your thing you might get ran over by somebody which is not good so you want the other thing you want to look at also is like are the advanced surfers right if they're advanced or intermediate you don't want to get in their way right but you also you might not be able to get any waves because an advanced surfer or intermediate is going to have better paddling strength and they're gonna be able to paddle circles around you and they're just gonna take every wave and you're just gonna be sitting there. So really assessing the crowd and picking a little empty area to paddle out in and do your thing until you feel comfortable enough where you can paddle out, where you have good paddle, paddle strength and catch your own waves. You really wanna to try to avoid crowds and, and that kind of stuff. So, um, and then as far as the pop-up goes, that my student today was you know he's super athletic he you know he was fit he was doing really well on the beach with the pop-up and then when we went into the water you know he had a tendency he kept looking down and so when you are learning the pop-up 
you can you can't be looking down. If you look down, you fall down, right? Um, wherever you look, you're gonna go. So, rule of thumb is when you are popping up and and starting to to ride a wave, whether it's a whitewash or whatever, you want to be looking like three feet in front of the board. Okay, you never want to be looking down at your feet to see if you're in the right spot. You'll feel if you're in the right spot. If the board's tipping over one way or another, you know you're leaning one way or another, right? So, I really want want you if you're if you're just starting out just trust trust yourself get to your feet and then make the those micro adjustments where you're just shifting your, your feet slightly and looking just in front of the board so that you can keep that momentum going forward and you can ride the wave all the way in so those are my tips for today if you are a beginner or you know someone that's a beginner definitely pass this on and um yeah, if you have any questions, obviously DM me and I'll help you out.